and you do the Title 42. And I guess I was right that statute. nothing Joe Biden could have said or that I could have said would have stopped you guys from doing this. Right. These are real let's, solutions. Let's, let's, and John, let's keep it moving. I love you, but let's keep it moving. That's Jessica Tarloff going at it with Judge Janine Pirro over Biden's response to the border crisis. Welcome to NERC News. I'm Nurkish. Pregnant Jessica is back on The Five, and today we're going to take a few minutes to break down her emotional insanity and confusing non sequiturs. You want to talk about an existential threat? It's not climate change, and it's not the nuclear war. It is immigration that is impacting uh, every person in this country by countries that are literally emptying their jails and emptying their mental institutions based not upon discrimination, but what we're seeing. Jessica, why doesn't Joe Biden just do something with executive power to just shut everything down? What I was going to start with, because I didn't know exactly what question you were going to give me, is the baseline that nothing Joe Biden was going to do today was going to be good enough for you. So that's the basis that I'm working from. Now we'll go to what uh, Secretary Johnson was talking about. So he was focused on the fact that there are 1,900 miles of U.S.-Mexico border, but only 300 miles Mexico and Central America. He said that's what we need to put pressure on. Mexico needs to be doing more. Yes, that's correct, Jessica. They do need to do more. Maybe something like remain in Mexico would have helped. Oh, wait, no, Biden ended that and wrote 90 executive orders that undid Trump-era policies that brought illegal immigration to a 40-year low. You know, it's funny how suddenly Democrats are pretending they care about all this. I mean, it couldn't have anything to do with people dying or cops being attacked during an election year. No, I'm sure Biden just suddenly wanted to visit the border and start begging Mexico for help with immigration. A country, by the way, who said that they will resist any efforts to reinstate the policies he undid. Well, he told me that we need to pass the bipartisan border deal. And you know why? Because we need things like more border patrol agents. We need a higher threshold for asylum. To let more we people need... in? Why do no. we need more border patrol? To stop people from coming? What are you talking you about? Wall, you do remain in Mexico, Mexico, and you do the Title 42. And I guess I was right that statue. nothing Joe Biden could have said or that I could have said would have stopped you guys from doing this. All right. These are real let's, solutions. Let's, let's, and John, let's keep it moving. I love you, but let's keep it moving. I'm not going to say it back to you. Um, <laughs> yeah, I just want to add that also John Fetterman said today that he would be open to a grand bargain okay. about H.R. 2. No, it's good. These are things that are good for you. Why don't you let me get it out? I, you know, I genuinely don't think Jessica is playing stupid here. I think she's baffled by her co-host shrugging off these recommendations because she's under the impression that Border Patrol still enforces the law and secures the border. She doesn't know that it's essentially been neutered and turned into a processing agency. She hasn't heard the complaints from agents that nearly 40% of them are stuck playing a game of catch and release with these people. And I mean, she can blame Republicans and be as glib about this as she wants, but the fact of the matter remains that this is Biden's fault. In addition to everything I just said, he literally called for illegals seeking asylum to surge the border before getting elected. He essentially ran on it. I would, in fact, make sure that there is, we immediately surge to the border. All those people are seeking asylum. They deserve to be heard. That's who we are. We're a nation that says if you want to flee and you're fleeing oppression, you should come. Well, at least we can take comfort in knowing that Kamala Harris made a lot of money for the administration figuring out the root causes of border crossings. I mean, I know we like to give the government a lot of flack about this stuff. But it really is a complicated issue to understand. Like, why do poor people from other countries keep coming here? It can't be for the entitlements and prepaid debit cards, right? Maybe we should spend a bit more money researching it before we do anything. But let me know what you think. Is Biden responsible for the current situation at the border? What are the root causes of illegal migration? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. That stuff really does help us out. Until then, this has been NERC News. Thanks for watching. Bye!